Hello and welcome to Sarcast episode one. I am the host, Bros with Goads, and I have a few co-hosts here. Let me tell you about them. Co-host number one has been playing since September 2nd, 2020, is a content creator, level 2,699, has some impressive stats, including 10th in the world for no armor victories, 45th in the world for pistol kills, 19,380 matches played, and 524 hours streamed on Super Animal Royale. That is Popcorn the Beaver. Popcorn, how are you doing? I'm doing A-OK. That's our first co-host. And our second co-host has been playing since January 3rd, 2019. Is a part of the Animal Army as well as a content creator. Level 3,156 with some stats like 42nd in the world for solo kills. 71st in the world for armors broken. 35th in the world for bows killed. Bows killed. Nice. Bow. Wait, bows killed is how I literally wrote it. Bow uh -oh. kills. There we go. Jeez. 35th in the world for bow kills and 574 hours streamed on Super Animal Royale. That is Wheezy Jacket. Wheezy, how you doing? I'm doing good. And uh, Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yes. And I am the host, like I said, Birds with Goats. Been playing since January 15th, 2023. Nowhere near either one of these gamers. Level 590. 32nd in the world for Fruit 8. And 326 for Death by Fruit oh, oh. Press. Those are my most impressive stats. And 540 hours streamed on SAR. Uh, like I said, welcome to the SARcast. Uh, for this first episode, this one's going to be a little bit more scripted. We have some activities to do, some things to discuss. But past that, it's just going to be a group of uh, SAR gamers yapping. So let me just get some intro thoughts on the SARcast from both of you guys. Pretty good. I think, honestly, just the concept of being able to freely talk about the game in really any sense is just, it, it's healthy, I think. Yeah. Just for, to be able to clear your head, clear your thoughts, actually be able to express yourself. Yeah, like, honestly, um, I, I have so much passion for Super Mario, and I'm really hoping my passion will actually um, reach out to the devs someday. <laughs> Um, which I'm pretty sure it has in the past, so I'm thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, you guys are two but, very like well-known, yeah. very high-up community members, I would say. So I think it would be really cool to just kind of bring us all together, fresh perspectives, old perspectives, all different sorts of opinions, and kind of just yap for a bit. So I'm very excited about this episode one. Like I said, this one's going to be a little bit more scripted. We're going to head right into it. So on Discord, I'm going to change my... Um, I'm going to change my capture to my main monitor for these gamers so uh -oh. they can kind of see what's going on. Is it loading? Oh, uh, there we go. All right. Can you guys read any of this? Uh, yeah. Let's see here. We got 100% so, happening. We have yeah. a tier list here. And I figured for our first episode, obviously, the biggest conversation piece is going to be the things coming up in season 11, right? So mm -hmm. I have created a bunch of little things that I have seen on social medias or in my Twitch chat or in other people's chats. And we're going to kind of go through and I want to hear your thoughts on which one of these things you think has a 100% chance that it will happen in season 11. It'll most likely happen. It might happen perfectly down the middle, probably not happening or 0% chance of happening. And so I don't want you to take your personal... Uh, feelings of what you think should happen because there's a second tier list for that. We're talking about what you think logically from the standpoint of the devs will get added into the game. You got that? I see. Yep. Yeah. No okay. So our very first one, a completely new map. What percent chance do you guys think that in season 11, we're going to see a new fresh map? Probably uh, not. I would say 0%. Because 0%. Really? I'm kind of teetering yeah. between zero and probably not because I think that there's always a chance, but there's been like numerous like statements on a uh, all the um what what do they call their like live stream like is it yeah, just, just dev play yeah yeah like they've talked oh, about nice. like the concept of a new map I keep remembering like literally every stream there's always that one guy saying when's the new map coming and the the response is like always similar it's like probably not and it's very vague yeah so. they and don't here's the thing though they they are a small team so making a new map would absolutely not um happen as of now they would require more developers for it so and they're still currently putting more addition um additional pois on the current map 
even though the map's been out for five years, they're mm. still adding more. So yeah. I'd say zero percent. In my head, they've had so much time since the last gameplay change that I feel like they could have been cooking something like this up over the last because it's been almost what ten months since we've seen a gameplay change. So yeah, you think yeah. so? Let's see, Wheezy zero percent popcorn. What do you want to land on here? Uh, for the sake of it, I think I'm gonna go zero percent. Just toss my coin. Dang, I was gonna say probably not, but you guys outrank me. We'll go ahead and toss our very first thing into the zero percent chance for a new map. Now let's dumb it down a little bit more. Several new locations. What do you think? Several. Uh, I, I'm leaning towards might. I'd say might yeah. happen. I'm a flat might on this too, because like. If it's been that long, there's a good chance that they're either gonna like bring in something huge, or it's gonna be like not a like complete map POI. overhaul, but like yeah, maybe one even POI. like two Goldwood Woods might just be snapped off the face of the earth. Let's be real. No, I... yeah, or a part of Tundra, I would say. Yeah, yes, there's still there's, there's still space over there. I think I agree with you. I think they're gonna add a large text POI if that makes sense. And then add oh, several yeah. new areas in a large text POI, if if that makes sense. Like, It'd be yeah. kind of like SeaWorld, except an actual location that you visit often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I am also in the might happen, so I think we'll we'll perfectly put it there in the middle. Next, new weapons. What are the chance that we see more than one new weapons? Most likely. Uh, for me. Yeah, most I'd say likely. most likely. Now, in my head, they have gotten so many insanely creative and good. Uh, suggestions on this that I really hope that there's minimum one, if not more. Oh, so, yeah. absolutely, yeah. So you guys are both in the most likely camp. Yeah, yeah. At least like, I, at least like maybe one or two at most. Now, which is what fine, what um, ammo type would you like to see it fall under? Um, if I'm being honest. I always thought that specialty was oh. some of the most creative weapons in the game mm. because yeah, specialty. Like, the BCG is quite literally just the in-game equivalent of a grenade launcher yeah. and it, it's like it's a harsh contrast well not i guess harsh isn't the right word it's a far contrast from like every other gun in the game which uses some form of bullet whereas this is just like oh yeah it's a giant egg yeah we don't really have an alternative to the bcg huh yeah so, so my hopes... I, I had a concept in the works for a smaller bcg actually a while ago yeah i'm really that, that hoping could happen. I'm really hoping that um, there will be another assault type weapon. I know specialty are the coolest ones and that, that honestly opens the most creative paths, but I've still been um, really wanting some sort of burst weapons. Burst weapons have been my favorite weapon in almost every game that I play. Uh, it's usually what I attach myself to. Um, so I feel like it would take some intense um, balancing because obviously shooting yeah. a string of three or two bullets or four bullets can be very scary for time to kill. But um, at the end of the day, I think I'm with you guys. It would be cool to yeah. get another specialty weapon, assault weapon, any weapon. Sure. And I think I know Jay's almost... been talking about the uh, three shot burst concept for the laser gun. Yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm with you guys most likely. Next, a new movement mechanic. And so when I made this, I thought of like another, like I kind of kept it broad in my head. Like, are we going to see another movement tool like an emu, a handball? Or a zip line. Do you think there could be another different, fresh movement tool added to the game? Oh, that's that would actually be really tough for as me. As much especially. as I want it to happen, I feel like what's going to happen is that they're gonna take zip lines and they're gonna try to like overhaul it. Cause yeah. with them right now, they're not exactly fundamentally useless, but they're just really hard to make use out of because I've seen people kind of like fake someone out to gain, I guess, aggro advantage in the middle of a fight by going on it, then immediately getting off of it, and then they have to like snap their crosshair back to where they actually are, yada yada. It's really complex and really odd, so I feel like they're going to try to rework it by removing like the little stun lock that you have when throwing it. You could just get on it while riding it or something, or you can get on it anywhere mm. on it, blah 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 blah. Mm. I feel like... It's really cool in concept. It just needs fine tuning. But as for yeah. a new movement mechanic, I think it's yeah, so kind of hard. A, yeah. You're talking about updating a already known mechanic. I'm talking yeah. about something fresh and new. Either a new animal to ride, a new cross water mechanic. I don't care. I'm keeping my keeping the thoughts open here. For new, I'd say probably not. 
Yeah, I'd say probably not because Super Animal Royale is very simplistic as a game, and people love simple, uh, simple gameplay. So we don't want this game to be like too too uh, difficult for new players. Too many more movement options, and you'll be like Fortnite, where there's 17 people flying yeah, with 14 different yeah, objects flying around sure. the map. Because like this just, game has revolved around simplicity, so it's just a game right, you can pick so up. So I actually agree with you guys. I don't think a new movement mechanic will be coming, so I'm down to put no. it right there in the probably not. Um, a new event. Will the start of Season 11 come side by side with a new event? Now... There was nothing on the official schedule. The next thing scheduled is the, if you look at the um, 2024 calendar, is just this you update. Too. But are they stalling enough? They've uh, said a few times that they're continuing to work on it to have more patience. Will it stall out enough to be coming side by side with another either holiday event or anything like that? What do you think? So uh, from the trajectory that we're going, it's most likely going to align with like, summer because i feel like what's going to happen is it's like they're going to delay it to like late june then they're going to tease it at june so they can still call it a q2 update and then they're yeah. going to release it in july so that's my theory for it at least and i feel like what's going to happen alongside that they're just gonna be like oh look it's the whole summer event thing and mm. my hope is that they they did overhaul the event system but i feel like it could still use more fine tuning it's cool right now in like the realm of how it looks and how it works but I feel like there could just be a little, little bit more. And so you, you're on the side of you think they could stall it out enough to come side by side with a new summer event, weekly summer event. So what I'm do you saying think? Might. most might. Okay, so you're in the middle. Yeah, I'm more leaning towards most likely. Cause... Most likely. Now yeah. I am actually with Popcorn the Beaver in exactly what he said about a June sort of teaser for a July release. But that is why I'm going to put it in most likely. Because yeah. July is right in the middle of that summertime. And so, Pop, I think we're going to beat you out two to one here. And a new event coming side by side with Season 11 in the most likely uh, happening tab there. Uh, uh, the, ne the next one, Sard Tonight Returns. Now, this one had some pre-information. They said that yeah. <laughs> when they get back to regularly, regularly, ugh, I can't say that word. Someone say it for me. Regularly scheduled program. Thank you. When they get back to that that um star tonight will be returning with that so do we think that means a season 11 or is that going to be a season 12 will be counting as that back to norm sort of um drop that they're talking I would, about i would now, say like i'd say might because i'm very neutral about this but like we normally we would get like um an announcement about submission submissions about clips so it happened like true. maybe three months maybe two or three months in advance, I believe. Mm. So we would have gotten an announcement by now, but since it hasn't happened yet, like it's probably gonna happen like later. I, I yeah. bet. So you thinking three months from season 11, so around a season 12, or do you think that this will be firmly planted in the season 11? Uh, I think it's gonna be like three months later or two, if we're lucky. So in your head, it's probably not dropping with the start of season 11? Mm, no, that's that's my guess. Pop, what do you think? I'm a little more optimistic. <clears throat> and I think it mainly stems from the Rhino introduction video when they introduced that new character. And Logan was like, expect to see more of this guy in the upcoming. Which basically just straight up teases season 3 for like, sorry tonight. Yeah. I think I'm getting it right, season 3. Uh, my memory's not great right now, but I think, and this is like something that I've seen like a ton of people like just say in general, at like random points in time, we'd be like, oh yeah, it's a the really Oceanic-esque update, they're gonna release the Oceana server guy, because it's like rhinos, and <laughs> even though that doesn't make that much sense, it's kind of hard to like expect anything from the SAR Discord community. I don't yeah. mean that as an insult, but if you've spent enough time looking in the feedback channel, I feel like you'll get the point. But Yeah, the, yeah people like to speculate and assume a lot when it comes to the, de uh, the developers, it seems, so... Because so they, yeah. they'll just take anything at this point. So. When I'm, I'm on saying, a okay, I was about to say, with you saying that you're more optimistic, does that put you in the most likely? Does that put you in the 100%? Where does that put you? It's like might happen, but it's like the very middle of the list. Like it's possible, but it's equally like not probable. 
Uh, so yeah. it might happen. I am going to put it in the probably not. Wait, what did you say, Wizzy? Did you say might or did you say probably I not? Said, I said He's might. Probably okay, not. then we will put it in the might, but oh, personally... Okay. Oh, wait, did you? you? You did, right? Yeah, I said might. Yeah, you said, he, he, said might. he said might. He okay, said might. Was, so I, was, I, I was neutral about it. Yeah, so. pop. Oh, okay. Uh, Wheezy said might, so I'm putting in might, but personally, I think it's probably not happening because of that one line in the update where they said they're not returning it until things get back to the normal, and it seems like se season 11 is going to be anything but normal f from how they've been speaking on it. So I Fair. think that'll be closer to season 12, which is why I said probably not. But um, I will... Uh, it won't be like an instant release. It'll probably yeah. just be like an announcement regarding Sword of Night. All right, next one. A social update of any kind. I'm talking friends lists. I'm talking hangout lobbies. I'm talking anything in between. What is the percent chance that we get a social update in the season 11 batch? So I've seen so many, like, little posts so many little feedback requests of the whole thing of at a friends list and at first i'm like yeah no it's like th there's no reason why it's not there let's do it but over time i've kind of gradually slipped away from that i'm still in that camp of people who would think that it's a cool idea but over time i've heard like certain opinions that kind of make me just question my own beliefs on the subject as a whole and it's a yeah. statement of do we actually need it because with how sar works we already have a lot going in there. And I feel like if they were to add a friends list, they'd have to add a ton of other things alongside of it. And oh, yeah, sure. with other things, there's a lot of people that like to kind of like, you know, put on a different name, myself included. And I feel like both of you know that. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just like to name oh, myself man. something random and go incognito. The thing is, though, you can't do that if there's a friends list now because everyone's going to see, oh, that's just blank and i don't think that's like you know the main driving reason between oh it's not gonna happen i feel like it's definitely possible but with how it's going i feel like the highest i could go is like the bottom of most likely and like the lowest would be might happen well hold on don't yeah. don't get completely stuck on a friends list i'm talking about anything social i know a lot of people have asked for lobbies anything. that never put you into the battle royale it's literally just a lobby with activities that you can go in and hang out with people in the game for the lobby surfing type people so i'm talking about anything social any any sort of social update or any update that would be given just for social things between people so i don't i i know i said friends list because that's one of the most popular yeah um things but don't yeah, get stuck on that i got too lost anything, in the yeah do you think anything will come that is meant just for social between people i'd say most likely then in that case so what yeah, do you what do you see added if it's not friends list and it's some sort of social addition what do you think i feel like so from my memory, I think SAR Mobile, or, well, the China edition of, like, SAR, had this weird feature where, like, it was kind of like just a constant running lobby, but kind of not. And I might be, like, mixing up uh, Brawl Stars' China and SAR's China from just memory, but how it worked is, like, you could just express these little notifs, do little mini-games, earn coins... And I feel like something like that, it could be like happening in the future, but as for this update alone, I feel like the most that we could probably get on social would maybe be a friends list, and that's at most. Okay, so, so you are yeah. locked into the friends list is probably the closest thing that can happen right now. Yeah. And you said that's around the might to probably not, right? I, it, I said it was like I guess to average it out, it would probably be might. Okay. So, so my votes on might then. All right, Weezy, what do you got? Uh, I'd say it might happen because like I mean, we've people have been suggesting that for quite a while now, and oh uh, yeah, it's, it's been years. Yeah, <laughs> and um... so I'm like I'm not like too keen on it per se. Like I'd say it might happen, but I'm not too keen on it say because like i'm already using discord anyways when That's it comes true. to like socialization or, or discord's Twitter. huge for that yeah during um alphabet duos letter f with funko logan he did say that the entire team would like a friends list in the game 
but that it's just something team. that it is something that would be very difficult to add to the game. I don't know if you guys watched yeah. that. Remember that? Yeah, so, I, I, I do. do. It definitely has been on the radar for a long time. I don't know if it will happen in season 11. So I'm with you guys and sort of a might. There could be zero social update. There could be something big, but I honestly just feel like it's right down the line of nothing's confirmed and it's flat uh, to see. Yeah. All right. Because like um, one one right. one update isn't gonna like change everything. It's it's gonna be like it has to be like multiple factors. Yeah. That that make that change. For sure. Um, the next box we have here is a new game mode. What is the chance that a new game mode will come out in season eleven? I'm gonna make a bold claim and say one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Now. So, my yeah. reasoning for that is. Again, I feel like it's going to be kind of like a pseudo mystery mode 2.0, kind of like how SVR had its uh, 2.0, but I feel yeah, like they're just yeah, going to like expand too. upon mystery mode. So I guess if you were to like say, oh yeah, it's still just mystery mode, then maybe not. But I feel like they're going to expand on mystery mode. It's quite, it's probably, I think the most beloved game mode in the entire game. And the reasoning behind that is it's rare. People don't get yeah. to play it. They like... You know, it's simple, it's easy to understand, you go into it, you get a small random modifier in just space squads. So, you know, bullets can be fast, slow, one hit, yada yada. I feel like they're gonna expand upon it and call it Mystery Mode 2.0 or something. Yeah. And I feel like that's my vote. So in that case, it's 100%. If it's not that, there's still a good chance that they could release just a completely new mode. So... If you're talking about just something entirely new, I'd say most likely. But if you're talking about like anything as a concept new, then yeah, hundred hmm. percent. What do you think, Wees? Uh I'm more lenient towards hundred percent happening. I'd say the same with popcorn. Like, if it's like a rework of a previous mode that wasn't in like mystery mode, for example, yeah, it, I'd say that's a hundred percent going to happen. But if it's like an, a mode entirely or new mode entirely, it's it 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 would most likely happen. Because, like, if, I mean, if there's no new mode, then there's no, like, variety to the game. So, yeah, they kind of have to add something be, at this point. Because people, people love um, having a new mode, because Battle Royales nowadays are, they are a little bit stale um, when you play a lot of them, to be honest. So I think a new mode would honestly keep the player base happy. Yeah, Popcorn, it was crazy that you said that because I actually had the same exact idea. I thought that Season 11 was going to come side by side, a new and freshened up mystery mode because they know it's everyone's favorite. Yeah. So that with all of their new shiny new toys, they would add everyone's favorite game mode side by side with some uh, changes or some new additions as well. So I was specifically thinking about... Um, uh, mystery mode but at the same time they've gotten so many awesome suggestions about how to make official hide and seeks dodgeballs oh, yeah. and a lot of things in between racing right um they put out that one google forms uh that yeah, one yeah exactly like, so, the game? and this feels like the perfect amount of time nearly 10 months of working on things to where i feel like this is either i would say most likely but i will agree with you guys and put it in 100 percent if that's what we're saying because i think yeah. at, at the very minimum i would love to see um a mystery mode return side by side with season 11 or if not a completely new freshened up like wheezy said variety sort of uh game mode so yep. you guys good if i Absolutely. put it up there our first 100 percent happening sure. i hope so all right next we have ranked and uh I haven't gone first, so I'll go first and tell you my my thoughts. Sure. Um, it's been getting talked about, I feel like, more and more. But it, every time the conversation has happened, it's been surrounded by more like visible like discomfort and um, confusion on how they would implement it. So I personally put it as a 0% chance. I just thought it would be interesting to hear your guys' thoughts. There's no chance that they've spent all of this time and the thing that they pop out is a official ranked mode. I just don't believe it. What do you think? So, I, I guess to, like, make a little bit of a statement here, uh, being the quote-unquote hot take person of the community, haha, -ha, uh, a lot of people like to think that I'm just full anti, like, ranked, anti-competitive. Uh, that's not really true. I actually really would like to see it one day. The th thing is, though, is that there's two issues with it for me. It has to be limited enough in the sense where it's not overbearing, 
and it has to be when the game has enough players to sustain it uh just on server side and community in general so i feel like how my view of it would go is that if the q2 update that comes out actually really does good for the game and has sort of like a 1.0 effect of bringing in and basically five times or even just 10 times in the player base and having it like the, and then they just start releasing consistent updates and it keeps up the player base then i feel like in the future they could release ranked but in terms of this update alone it would be probably a bad idea to release it so i'd have to go with zero wheezy uh i am a thousand percent gonna say zero percent chance as well because like like i mean like popcorn said it's it's the player base like there's clearly not enough players to sustain a ranked mode and if P and if pixel just suddenly release ranked and there's like a bunch of bots in ranked uh it just wouldn't be as fun like it would be it would not be polished it'd be very scuffed i would say and honestly like well you guys wanted this and he here's how it turned out so yep It'd be like TF2's ranked, where they just tried to fix it and it didn't work. It would require a lot of a lot of testing, I would say. Yeah, yeah, we all agree it's... that it's zero percent. I have a feeling that we might spend an entire week sometime in the future talking about ranked because there's a lot more thoughts and a oh, lot absolutely. more things that we can it's talk about or how topic. to balance it. So we'll just leave it there for now, knowing that we'll come back with another episode where we'll probably be discussing it again, and we will head to a percent chance that we will see a preview event before season eleven comes out. I'd go with 100%. They haven't done it in a while, and I feel like even if it's not a normal preview event, it's going to be one of those ones where it's going to be like, oh yeah, Fluff Up Sheep is showing off some stuff again. Like that one that happened in the past. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that one. Right. It, it was really cute. And so, yeah, I feel like it's 100% going to happen, because if they've spent that long mm. working on something, they want to show it off. Yeah, they want to generate hype. Some hype. Yep, exactly. And I feel yep. like it's going to be one of the largest preview events we've had in a while. I feel like people are going to clear their schedules just to try to attend it. And they're going to do that whole thing where they have to like, oh yeah, we got to blah, 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 blah. We got to blah, 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 just fucking... That's crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> That's crazy. Then we have to <laughs> split whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two split groups again, like uh, Juice yeah. Factory? Yeah. Yeah, my brain shut off. Sorry. <laughs> All good. Uh, Weezy, what do you think? 100% chance like uh, pop, or you I'm, have a different idea? I'm definitely leaning towards 100% because, like, they, they're they trying to, like, release a big update, and they want the content creators to, like, showcase it. Mm. So, honestly, like, I mean, as Popcorn said, like, this people are going to clear their schedules just to play this new super mrl update mm. i mean especially to people that haven't played the game in a while as well so gotcha which, uh i'm gonna agree yeah. if they spent this much time i think they also heard some disdain about the last few not having a preview because there was no game plan changes so i think they're yeah. looking at the entire lens of this absolute we're not starting this until we have a preview event for this like i really feel like they're like that like we will not release this season until there's a preview event if I could, like, say yep. one thing really quickly yeah. about this update especially. On Pixel's little independence post on Twitter, uh, Buff Pup as well reacted to it with, like, yeah. like they're really supportive to it, which actually gives me high hopes that, yeah, she, I might saw that one. Yeah, she might even, like, attend the preview event if stuff goes that far. Yep. I could see her attending it, plus she's she's an OG player. That would be as huge. Well. So, <laughs> I remember I... I actually played with her and Shia Bun on Shia Bun stream, of course. So, because I remember he was doing SAR games with his community, and I remember her little chibi VTuber model. So yeah, cute. I remember that. It was it was her. It was when she was just starting out. But yeah, yeah, uh, right. it was so cute. Hundred percent. And also like hundred percent. Could have say? some big faces coming back. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um. Oh uh, yeah. I, I got featured in a start start night because of Shia. So mm. was that wait, was that the first one that you were in? Yeah. yeah the was three. That was, that was the was, start of the streak. Yeah, like I I I was actually dead in that clip. And apparently if you were in a start of night clip, that if counts. Dead, 
Yes, it counts if you're dead. Are you kidding me? That's yeah, hilarious. so if I could if have had my item. <laughs> yeah, if you're on the if you're on the squad, um, of that clip, you actually do get a, an item. Oh my so, god! I had to right, ask right. like I actually asked Plum about we get, it, we so, and he was like, on, "Yes." Yeah, yeah, I'm just don't, gonna don't sit fall, here a few minutes don't, silence. Don't fall down the Sar tonight rabbit trail. We already went past that. All right. Yeah. I'm just yeah, gonna sit here a few minutes silence. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Next. <laughs> Um, content creator updates about the application system or what it takes or your, what you get or anything in between. What is the percent chance that in season 11, they drop some sort of new addition for content creators, changes to content creator program? What do you think? I'm just oh. flat my, and the thing is though, in terms of just my opinion alone, I think it just should. But yeah, yeah. Hold your horses. Of, Hold your horses. Yeah, That's the yeah, next yeah, yeah, tier yeah, yeah. list. That's the next one. It's what you fair think enough, is fair realistic enough. for season eleven. As as for season eleven, in terms of content creator changes, I'd say might because in truth, with all the stuff going on, I feel like CC changes hasn't been the highest in their priority list. With with I guess to quote unquote recent events of just stuff happening and I guess a bit of like distastefulness to like the lack of updates they might do something for cc changes in that regard because there has been some issues with people complaining about the program as a whole and like just not recognition and also people taking like six months to get in the program mm. but i feel like it's not the highest in their priority list what probably is is they're trying to like get retention they're trying to get more people in they're trying to like you know increase like revenue share they're trying to especially now that they're independent they have a lot on their plate and i feel like cc isn't the highest on the list but it could happen there's a good chance so i'd say might uh yeah <laughs> that's it uh, uh yeah fair enough man <laughs> so honestly like i'm with popcorn on this uh it will it, it might happen but uh, like they say, it's not a high priority at the moment. So, like, but honestly, I, I'm really hoping they'll execute content creator updates alongside with their up actual update as well, not just like separate them. Because that's what I've been noticing. And I don't know if you guys noticed that as well, but hmm. yeah, yeah. They, actually, they separate these updates. I actually agree with Popcorn's opinion, but I would put it in probably not because of that. They, because they have so much on their plate with whatever this big thing that they're working on and everything in between, I feel like the CC is definitely the first the first fat to get chopped from the block, you know, like, yeah, and, and just look at it in a few months down the line when everything chills out, you know, um, but you guys voted double mites. So we'll toss in the mic. Yeah. Um, next, a good battle pass. What's the percent chance that it's actually, and this one's going to be a little bit more subjective, obviously, but we're just going to kind of even out what we think. Um, if they are going for this big, big update, how much do you think they've really given love and creativeness to the pass? Uh, do you think it's going to be good? 100% chance, 0% chance, somewhere in the middle. What do you got? I think that, so you are right. It is a very subjective thing. Like, I really like the season 10 pass the dragon one but a lot of people said oh it's yucky this stuff in there is really specific and i'm just over here like oh it's really cute it's dungeons and dragons theme you get like little dice graves on i thought it was awesome the thing is though like i said and like he said not everybody did it's subjective so what i think is that they probably did put a bit of time aside from like just working on like whatever concept they're working on to basically say oh yeah we need to actually make a good pass mm -hmm. and well which is fair because if you're gonna get a lot of people which is what i assume they're gonna try to do yeah. they're gonna try to make the pass look as good as possible by saying wow look at these cosmetics aren't they amazing yeah i really want people to grind it you know they have Inside to the put in like that wow factor but with its subjectivity, I feel like it's impossible to say 100%, but I will say most likely. Okay. What do you think, Uh I I'd, I'd say most likely as well. Like, I mean, it's typical for them to release a, a new battle pass every now and then. So, yeah, it most likely happen. Just, I mean, this game le is very lenient towards cosmetics, I would say. Mm. So. Oh, absolutely. I, I agree with you guys. I think that um, 
because of all the extra time, I feel like they know that it has to be good or what people consider good or great or really grindable and exciting for whatever uh, tier blank. What's the what's the max tier normally? 60? What is it, 40? Uh, it's 49. 49. 49 is the max. Yeah, so they, yeah. they're probably going to have something extremely hype for tier 49 because they just really, really want everything yeah. to look as good as possible aside of whatever big update that they're working on for the drop so i agree with if you guys honest, most likely go ahead i i wouldn't even be surprised if they like put in like a double emote in there because mm. the emote is probably the most beloved part of every pass mm. everyone looks forward to the emote i think even if yeah. it's not a great emote it's like a collector's item in that sense so i wouldn't For even sure. be surprised if there's like two emotes in there that are actually like all around good emotes like one of them might be a dance and one of them might be a little goofy thing that's my theory all right um two left second to last one weapon balance updates do we think that there's going to be several weapon or key weapon changes things getting buffed things getting nerfed or do you think uh damage wise or whatever wise uh things are going to be left alone for guns and uh other things are going to be the key factors of this new update so for specifically guns. Yes, yeah, specifically weapon balance. Do we think that um, snipers firing rate is going to get turned down or just, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. What is the percent chance that we see uh, multiple weapon changes balance wise up or down? Do you think it's going to get left in the uh, side due to whatever big thing that they're working on and probably the things like we just talked about, like the pass, like a preview event, like a potential new game mode, like a potential new social update will they not even tweak any of the weapons or uh do, should we expect to see some weapon updates alongside of it so right out the gate i feel like the laser is probably going to get tuned mm. like that's just my immediately uh probably up okay but it's going to be like like not full up it's going to be like two ups and one down kind of thing where gotcha. they're going to like decrease something but they're going to up like a couple others because this is like at least for my view on like it as a whole it definitely is a bit underwhelming and i feel like a lot of the mainly newer players they like struggle with it because it's just it's just a bunch of bullets flying everywhere and it's horrifying to see that but when like you really come to understand the gun you look at it and you're just like huh that's just a bunch of low damage spam that i could outrange so you have to find this little happy middle ground where it's like how can we benefit like a more skillful aspect of it but not make it completely overtuned for newer players so not only do you think it's going to happen but you're specifically targeting the super eye laser here pretty much like that's my main focus outside of that though i think that most of the guns are pretty like obviously you can always say oh yeah the silence pistol is insane the gold bcg can still technically two shot uh the gold hunting rifle exists in this one hyper specific mode and i found it unfair for this one match in my three years of playing the game <laughs> that i was one shot by it but like you could say whatever it is but i for the most part thinks that the guns are pretty balanced so I so think what are you banking on more, that all of the guns are balanced and so it probably won't happen? Or you're so sure that the laser is going to get tuned up so you think that there will be I think a weapon change in Season 11? If you were to say, like, multiple, then I feel like probably not. But if you were going to say, like, weapon balance just update and it could just be the laser, then yeah, 100%. I feel like it's going to get changed. Mm. All right, Weezy, we'll see what you say and we'll kind of uh, find a happy middle ground between us. So, honestly... I, I, I'm leaning towards like might it might happen, because like most of the weapons are very balanced. Like I don't think they need a lot of change changes besides the super laser. And I think, uh, maybe the dark gun might need a slight change. Just quality of life wise, like in terms of weapon changes, probably like a quality of life update to, uh, some weapons like maybe the dark gun, but. Overall, I think laser will probably get a change, but I'm leaning towards like most likely happening. Um, I'm gonna I say retract most, my statement. No, I'm going to say most likely as well. I just think that even if there's things that aren't uh, widely discussed about, like 
or I'm talking about outcries of things being OP or so bad. I feel like the devs also keep track of their own little things, and we're gonna see a few like one digit nerfs or buffs. You know what I'm talking about? Where That's like fair. like one damage of something will go up or down. And I feel like there might be three or four of those if they're looking or especially if they're adding something completely new alongside of it. We'll see. Uh, most likely for Wheezy and I, so we're going to put it up there. And yeah. our very last one of our list for Season 11, what is the percent chance that we see a Blender buff? It needs to get buffed, man. <laughs> Blender buff. No, no, no. <laughs> Not no, no, no. We don't care about if it needs to. Oh, Do you God. think it will be buffed in the Season 11 drop? Will it be buffed? If it doesn't, I'm going to Logan's house. <laughs> Yeah, just Logan specifically. I don't care about the other dev. But okay, look, I I feel like it will. Like I don't. I feel like they probably looked at it because they buffed it, the update right after it was released, mm. and it just look at the thing, man. It's you, you sad. Think they still see that even with those buffs right after the batch that we're still not hitting where it should be. Oh probably. god. <laughs> It, it's 100% happening. I refuse to believe they can look at that right. thing and not cringe. 100%. Wheezy, what do you got? Uh, I'm leaning towards, like, most likely. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Part. I I want it to be 100%, but that's not what we're talking about. It's if I believe it'll actually happen. And this falls under the thing that where Blender is so, like, <laughs> it's such so a meme at this point that, like, I feel like they genuinely won't even take the time to figure out how to make it useful, but I'll, I'm still going to optimistically put it in most likely, but I do not think there's a 100% chance it's getting yeah, buffed. Yeah, it's... I, I feel it, like it's not going to be, like, too much of a high priority for them, yeah, I'll say. Yeah, uh, compared to everything else. Because so, there's other factors that are <clears throat> prioritized, I'd say. Here's our list. I'm going to go ahead and download this because I'm going to be using this for other things later. Um... You're going to send this to Logan more, and say, look at these dum-dums. One more thing <laughs> I would like to add. Now, if I deleted this middle tier, if I delete it might happen, I would like you guys in 30 seconds to just go down the list a piece mm. and tell me if you would move it up or down. Up or down one. Because obviously uh, if new you're location? Right, Are yeah, we so, starting now? Or? Yeah, Popcorn, you go. Just run down the list. Doesn't okay. need to be deep explanations. Try to do all four of them in 30 seconds. Might happen, doesn't exist. Where are you placing it? So, for might happen, I'd say new location would go to probably not, or uh, Sarge Knight returning. I, I'd optimistically put it in most likely for the... Oh, what's the third one? Social Is that update. social? Okay, oh, yeah, social. I'd say uh, probably most likely, and for CC updates, I'd say probably not. Okay, Weezy, what do you got? Uh, so, for new location, I would say most likely... For Sartanite, I would say most likely. Oh wait, what's the second one? Uh, Sartanite, Sar yeah, Sartanite returns. Yeah, it's oh, what's the third returning? Uh, what's the third one again? Uh, social update. Social update most likely, and CC updates probably not. All right, if might happen didn't exist, I would probably move new locations down. Start tonight down, social update down, and CC updates down. I'm pushing everything to Damn. probably not because Keep when I mindset, because when I wow. look at the other most likely in 100, percent I think this would eat up all of the attention and time. So I don't think any of these things would probably make it into a season left update if what we believe up here is true. If that makes sense, that's why I would probably bump all of these things down. Um, all right, that is our list. I'm going to leave it like that, but real quick. We have a second list, which is all oh. of the same tiles in a different order. Whoops. But um, uh -oh. here's um, the new list. Now we're just going to bring in our deepest desires and our personal opinions. Uh. Needs to happen in season 11 for the game to grow, for the player base to come back. Anything in between should happen, but it's not going to happen or shouldn't happen. On this list, the things that need to happen, should happen, and won't, or shouldn't happen to quote-unquote save the game. Because in my video, I made a bold claim. It's actually not bold at all. It's statistically back. Sorry is in the worst place it's ever been, everything-wise. Oh, absolutely. Player-wise, viewership-wise, mm -hmm. streamer-wise, everything in between. 
So what are what of these things do you personally want to happen to be able to um, to bring it back to its former glory, to save the game? What do you think needs to happen? Season 11. You want to go first, Sweezy, or should I? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. So we're starting left to right? Yeah, go for it. So Blender buff, I, I think it should happen, but they won't do it. It's not too much of a well, priority. We'll do three separate lists for this and we'll discuss. So go for it. Easy, keep going. Uh, wait, what's the next one? Uh, weapon balance. You gotta go um, fast. Um, I would say should, but not, nah, but no. Should, but won't. Should happen, but one. Yeah. All right. Third one. Uh, good is, battle pass. Uh, needs to happen. CC updates. Uh, I'd say needs to happen. Preview event. Needs to happen. Ranked. Uh, should happen, but won't. <laughs> Social update. Uh, needs to happen. Star tonight returns. Uh, I feel like it should happen, but it but it won't happen. Ooh. Uh, new event. Uh, needs to happen. New game mode. Oh. Oh wait, needs to happen. Uh, new game. Yeah. <laughs> new game mode. Uh, <laughs> needs to happen. New weapons. Uh, I think it should happen, but they won't. New locations. Ooh, I think needs to happen. New map. Uh, shouldn't happen. I've discussed this earlier. New movement mechanic. Uh, shouldn't happen. Interesting. I was wondering if anything would end up down there. All right. Oh, yeah, a couple things. Yeah. Honestly, uh, just I think if you refresh the page, it would probably be easier. Is it yeah, gonna? Is it the gonna page. Oh wait. Maybe. No. It's gone oh forever. no! It's gone forever. Oh. I can't oh, if you just save the image, like you have the image, you oh, just like show it on screen. Man. It's already <laughs> scuffed. File leak. Let's go. <laughs> uh, just just right, cut that. Oh my god! Just cut that part out. There you go. What, what was this we'll, one? We'll what was this one? As, oh, needs to happen. Uh, needs to happen, and then a. Uh, yeah, just keep from the side. What was, what was this one? What was this one? <laughs> Should but won't. <laughs> What does it look like? Yeah, just, call, now? just call the uh, last. Just call the last nah, one. Uh, uh, won't happen. <laughs> no. Won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. All right. We're back. Yeah, All right, Poppy. Let's go. Poppy, you next from the top. CC All updates. Right. Uh, just like me. Anyway, uh, I should but won't. New mechanic. So new movement mechanic won't uh, won't happen and shouldn't. Oh wait, yeah, wait. That's why you said something, Weezy, because I wrote the complete <laughs> wrong thing. There we go. Shouldn't That's happen. why I said no. Uh, Shouldn't it, should not happen. Uh, new map, no. Uh, social update, should but wouldn't. Start tonight returns. Uh, it should happen. Needs to? I definitely do think it needs to. Alright. That's, like, that's my honest opinion right yeah, there. Yeah. I definitely do think it needs to. Alright, uh, new game mode? Uh, should happen. New location? New location. Should, but won't. New event? Should happen. Preview event? Should happen. New weapons? Should, but won't. Ranked? Uh, for as of right now, shouldn't happen. Blender buff? It should happen. <laughs> Good battle pass? Just, just me. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what's that one? Battle pass? Uh, it should happen. And weapon updates. Uh, it should happen. Right. <laughs> Mega scuff right here. <laughs> you put it in need. Wait, I put it in the wrong one? Yeah, they said should. Oh, wait, when you were saying should, were you saying need? Wait, were you... Sp you were putting oh, I, all I, I of said... that stuff in should? Yeah. Oh, no, no oh I, meant, I meant need. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. I thought sorry, you yeah, meant yeah. need. I thought you meant need. So is this the great? Oh, right? God. Yeah, no, I was just trying to like okay, okay. speed through yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I had a feeling we were on the same page there. We're good. All right. <laughs> I got to go fast. Okay, hold on. There's definitely a, a like a one, but I've done this before, like where you can just like move it out and it comes back to like down here, doesn't it? Am I crazy? You used to be able to do it, but you have you to have at the... least one thing there to be able to do okay, it. Okay, hold on. 
Yeah, just <laughs> place me. Yeah, that <laughs> nah, that works. Damn, bro. <laughs> All right, let's see. New game mode needs to happen. Preview event needs to happen. Star tonight returns should happen, but won't. Ranked. You're waiting on this one. Should happen, but won't. Well, because I'm trying to keep myself in the mindset of we're talking about season 11 drop. So I think yeah. rank absolutely needs to happen eventually. But on the season 11 drop, it shouldn't. Or it should, but it won't. Which is fine. Uh, new locations. Ooh. I think it needs to happen. Social update. I think it sh should happen, but it won't. Blender buff needs to happen. CC updates should happen, but it won't. New weapons should happen, but it won't. Weapons? Nah, I think it will actually. Needs to. Battle pass needs to. Move mechanic. I'm gonna put should, but it won't. Because I feel like there's something that is there's not intrusive. Something. There's definitely something that wouldn't be as intrusive. We were speaking on it would be like game changing and brain breaking. But I feel like there's something simple that could be done. Yeah. Um, weapon balance updates uh, should happen, but I don't think it will actually. I, on season 11, no, I lied. New map shouldn't happen. I think it, they should be more updating what we have instead of something completely fresh. And a new event. This is where I'm going to get slightly controversial. Controversial On the drop of Season 11, I think Season 11 should be so fantastic by itself that they don't have to hide behind another fresh weekly event. So I'm yeah, gonna should, claim. I'm going to put shouldn't okay. happen because it needs to be... Fair enough. It needs to be its own thing. And then maybe like a month into the new season, then drop a new event. Over simulation is definitely an issue. All right. Yeah. For and sure. um, there is all the list. Let me go back to our. Uh... All right. Thank you uh, for doing those tier lists. Um, I feel like yeah, we wow. definitely have a, a nice spread of opinions here about what needs to happen, what should happen, and everything in between. Um, now, I did want to ask: Is there anything you felt like I missed from the squares that the community has been asking for that kind of flew over my head that you think should or might happen or might not or whatever? A new ability. A new ability? You're yeah. talking about a new Just like equipment. A power up. Oh, yeah. a new power up. Okay, a new power up. Didn't think about that. I did add weapons with no power ups. Now, what percent chance do you think that'll happen? So, just as a quick like go down, we have eight power ups in the game, and I feel like you could just make it ten, just like for the numbers' sake. And also, there is a few concepts that you could add in. The only issue is making them hyper niche, like enough, or just generalist enough, because you might have the situation of oh goody it's another initial release impossible tape being triple s tier allowing people to just apex armor swap whenever they want mm. and then you have something <laughs> like oh yeah it's initial release blender so you have to find like this middle ground where it's like useful but not like overbearing or bad and for the sake of like will it happen or will it not i'm gonna put it like a flat might because i feel like they probably were working on another ability i do remember a couple times someone comes into their little uh, stream and asks like oh yeah is there a new power up coming uh and they did say that they have thoughts on some mm. but it's kind of like a working process and nothing's confirmed and nothing's really like straight and narrow so it's definitely like possible definitely they didn't say might. yeah they didn't say a flat no but there, it's up to speculation so it's might for me all right wizzy what do you think power uh, ups did we miss it off the list is it likely unlikely to happen what do you think i think it's like i'd say it's most likely but maybe really? not immediately in season 11 though okay yeah, yeah like, everything it, that we've been talking line. about is the context of season 11 drops what are we thinking about for season 11 thoughts and feelings on season 11 so um yeah i feel like it's very wide open of things down the line but for, so for season 11 you think they're going to be working on too many other different things that probably won't happen for season 11. it's a lot oh, yeah i remember someone in general once literally was just spamming guys it's gonna be a fishing update and he made his account called fish it was just a picture of the fish from tf2 and i oh boy i like he was just saying that over and over again i'm like what are you 
I mean, people like to spread the uh, false information. People, yeah, so. me when I spread misinformation on the internet, I love that meme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's exactly like that one. But he probably woke up one day and said, "I want to be a nuisance to society," and just. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Let me just I say swear. something that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. So, Wheezy, anything along the lines of what I said? Anything you feel like I missed from the Squares power ups um, was definitely one of them. Um, I, th- I was thinking like dro- drops. You know what? Ooh. I I thought about Twitch drops, but I actually didn't write it in. I know popcorn. You can't say that. The, the Look, man. TD I have my opinions. <laughs> I'm gonna reserve me. them. Yeah, so you think that Twitch drop on release of season eleven or just near? What do you think? I'd say like near. Okay. Oh, actually, near. No, not near. Yeah, like near. Maybe like after season eleven though. Okay, so it's gotta another, be like a month. Yeah, another like one month into the season type deal. Yeah, yeah. I'd say something like that. Yeah, I actually agree with you. And I think if it is a new fresh drop that is in line with whatever theme that they choose for season eleven, that would probably be the most ideal. Um, yeah. So I figured one last little conversation point and then we'll be at right about an hour, which I feel like is perfect. I feel like we've had some really good conversations and some topics. Um, uh, Looking at the context of season 11, if you had one thing that you absolutely could guarantee was in the game, like you say it and they're putting it in the game, what is one thing? Maybe from our list, maybe just something outside of the list. What is that main desire that you have to see in season 11? Let's start with one thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a toughie. Yeah, maybe I'll start because I've been thinking about this a lot when I think about these yeah, questions. Yeah. And um, uh, for me, it's a game mode. If there's one thing that I could ask for to 100% be in, and I think it's game mode because I think the uh, game mode will create the most long lasting freshness. Uh, I don't think preview events, I don't think uh, a good battle pass, weapon updates, any of those things create that long time freshness. Neither do locations, because even people stopped caring about uh, the Health Juice Factory, the uh, Super Sea Land after, what, a week or two? So I think a game mode would create the most uh, longevity and freshness to the game. So that would be my one vote guaranteed get in type deal. That's fair. Like, I I remember when they initially said, we're going to do a bi-weekly game mode rotation. I went into feedback and I was like, this is a bad idea. And so many people agreed with me. And then when people got bored of it, I'm just sitting here like, look who is right. Uh, th- like, my main issue with it is that you're just rotating two modes. Like, it's just two modes. Yeah, it's just and two every modes. other week, you expect to like see the same thing. I feel like it would work if there was like four, maybe you could even get away with three, but there's just the issue of like, it's too much of the same. And like, it it might be a bit controversial, but I think that the main reason why people like something like mystery mode so much is because it's rare. Like you don't get to see it. And when it is there, everyone's like, yes, this is the best thing ever. So when like Walking Dead, which is coming out like, for like a couple days at random points in time people got so excited they were like yes it's walking dead and they were freaking out because you know it's it's like it's there for three days and then it's gone mm. and it was only out for like three times and it was so unique and now that it's been here like every other week for like the past few years it becomes yeah, stale it's, it's not as it, it's yeah. not as special anymore as you think it is so I feel like it should be like a four game mode esque rotation. Like you just slap mystery mode and maybe a new mode in there, and you could have like, oh yeah, you see these four game modes like throughout the month, and you ha- like I feel like a month is just enough time to forget the sort of like playment or whatever you want to call it of like what you had with that one mode, and you start to miss it, and then right when you start to miss it, it comes back. So it's enough time to like miss it. So that way you just want it. And I feel like... I feel like in the few... Yeah, sorry, I think you could have heard my phone there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it right under my mic. Okay, it's gone now. Bye-bye. Uh, so, what I think it is, in the future, if they somehow go crazy with, like, game modes, and it'd be like, oh yeah, left, right, left, and right, they could do a thing where it's like, this month has these game modes, and this month has these game modes. So it generates, like, 
a lot of hype for checking the news and such mm. of like what could be in the game and it makes it feel like oh yeah i'm definitely coming back for blank and i feel that's like a far future thing but i feel like they do need to release like another game mode and then yeah. slap in like a newly released mystery mode with like mm. oh yeah in this game mode you have little splash potions of instant taping or mm. like whatever yeah so that's my number one wish uh popcorn i hope i didn't uh, distract you from your own answer um do you have one <laughs> i know you uh, i got you excited about game modes that i don't know if you had time to think about your you own get me in any topic on anything i will rant about it for an hour i once mm. sat in a call with someone on blender for three hours straight mm. so if, oh while that is like one of my largest answers, I will say the thing I wanted most was some kind of like trading system, which is something that I know some people have brought up and a lot of people are, have a yeah, a lot of people have a bit of dis distaste for it mm. because it's messy. But I've always thought that Tsar could have like TF2 style of like inventorying system and like as long as it's free. And, like, it, it's very accessible. I feel like it could work for people saying it's like, oh, yeah, I'll give you three of whatever for whatever. Because, and this is, like, an actual thing. There was a person I knew who it took them till level 824 to get the Yushanka. It took them that long to get one cosmetic from the drops list. Mm. So that's Thanks. my desire. That's interesting. It's Anything not something that I feel like immediately needs to system. go. That's crazy. Anything it's something world. that I'd want. It All doesn't right. need to be there. It's something that I'd want. All right, Wheezy, what do you got? One thing from the list or uh, not from the list. Boy. Season 11, what's the dream? I honestly, I'm going to have to go with you, bros. It's, uh, it's a new mode, but yeah. it'd most likely just be like a rework to mystery mode. You think that, it, yeah, there's a higher chance of a rework rather than something fresh and new? Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Gotcha. Because people have been people have requested mystery mode for a while, so <clears throat> now and I think I would expect that to be like the rework for the new game mode. Um, I was I was not going to ask that question without asking the inverse. If there is one thing that you see uh, when they're talking about the all of the information for season eleven has been dropped. This is their highlighted best thing that they're doing. What are what would be the most disappointing thing for you to see is the highlight of this new drop. We waited 10 months of gameplay changes. We waited patiently. We moved this past back, what, two months? It's already been two months longer than normal. It happens every three months and we're over five months now without a new pass. Um, and so this is the their crown jewel that they've been working on but you hate it. What is that thing? What is that thing that would really disappoint you if all that hard work and patience and everything went into it? I can't tell if that's my internet or... Yeah. Oh no, am I dying? <laughs> yeah, he's just... <laughs> Am you I literally had your hand out. You look like you were grasping your Wi-Fi cable. <laughs> am I dying? Hello? Yeah, uh, it was a You're bit. here, you're here, you're here. I'm back? It was good, it was good. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, did good, you guys hear uh, the... Not the end part, but I get the concept. Okay, yeah, just understand yeah. the concept. We did what would be the biggest, the most valuable thing to us to be added to season 11. What is the thing that we would be the most disappointed to see that they spent all that time on this update? What is What would that thing be? I'll start if you guys need the confidence. Um, sure. I would say... If the big crown jewel, 10 months of waiting, five months with no new pass, no new content is just for a friends list or a social update, I will cry. Like there has to be some sort of significant gameplay changes, either ones that we talked about or ones that we didn't talk. So if all of that waiting broke down to just a friends list or a lobby to hang out with other lobby surfers, I will cry. Go ahead. So... From a pure marketing perspective, I have way too many things I could answer this with, <laughs> but uh, there was one I remembered specifically that I was like writing in my notes saying like, what's the worst thing that they could just release? And where was it? I have to like look in here. Oh my God. Like, I think what it was is that it was just basically the thing where it was like reworked night mode 
And it was just kind of like the thing where like you go into like solos and it was just like, oh yeah, it's spooky random modifier time. Ha ha. We're not going to tell you when it's happening. That's the big thing. Like if that happened, like, <laughs> the, like if that was it, the least map change of the map changes, basically like pretty much. It, it's like if they added a building to Goldwood Woods, but it was only there every other match. <laughs> like that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. That's like, what you're afraid of. Like they're just. Like, it, it's just oh, like we added oh this yeah, ultra niche once every five games type changes. That's the. One I that... feel like you can have like some random like events that could basically be saying like oh yeah during uh, this week squads has double banana spawns mm. like i feel like that could be nice but if you have this one thing where it's just like oh yeah this is a permanent thing any match that you can go into now is a random chance of saying giving you two extra bullets when you load your gun like i feel like that would just i i just walk away well, what into this well, into on. the sunset what percent chance do you think that's actually going to happen in season 11 I don't Do you think... feel like that's an irrational fear? Of, it is those... definitely an irrational oh, fear. God. It is it's an extremist like view. And I feel like it's more just a statement of I swear to God. Gotcha. Okay. I feel you. It's not gonna happen, I but I'm you. just it's in the back of my head. Yeah. Weezy, what do you got? One thing you would be uh, disappointed at if it was the main stake of the season. Uh I would say uh ranked. A hundred percent ranked. Mm. Like, if they released Ranked, I would not be proud of it. I would be disappointed. Because, like, there's... It needs a lot of testing for it to be polished yeah. as a whole. More if they just suddenly released Ranked... it on our the, heads with no explanation. Yep. yep. If they you. just did that, I would be disappointed. No, and, and as uh, the guy who is pretty much begging for Ranked, I completely agree with you, though. It has to be something that is... Over time, implemented, polished. It can't just be like a random drop. So, I feel like yeah. the answer is solid. I've always thought that for rank, they could do the whole thing where it's like, uh, what was it? The public test beta branch or whatever that one was. It yeah. happened so. Was it 2022? No, it was 2020, I believe. Oh, was it was a, 2020. There was a public test. Uh, yeah, there's a public test thing. Yeah, and then they basically say, oh, yeah, you want to try it. No, 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 wait, I'm, I'm stupid. I was thinking of, like, the test for the net code when they were testing it out. Oh, and then yeah, they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, basically, what happened was, is they're like, oh, yeah, here, uh, you can log into this code or whatever it was, and then you play on the new net code and, like, test it out. Like, give us your opinion. We'll do one for NA, we'll do one for you, we'll do one for Asia. I feel like ranked could be that. Like, they're basically saying it's like, oh, yeah, once a week on Sunday, we're going to be opening these lobbies, and it's like an official dev thing. Like, they hire, like, they hire, like, the equivalent of a new community manager, but specifically for, like, rank hosting. And then there's a bunch of little caster roles that you have. I feel like if something like that were to happen, it would definitely be possible. Like, you... In the events tab, it's saying, oh yeah, this week's ranked, and then they have a little thumbnail for it that they got commissioned. Like, you have to, like, sign up for it. It would be, like, a little official event. There'd not really be any reward, but it would just be, like, actual set mode, set area, and then they could do little tweaks in the map just for that specific one. That's my. That's like the most oh, crackpot no. theory ever. We're, like <laughs> we're building off yeah. of what Weezy said, but once again, I feel like we'll have a whole episode on ranked. Yeah. So let's put that on hold for sure. Weezy, There's I like, too much to talk about. I like Sorry. answer. Um, yeah. Episode one, Sarcast. I think we're in a pretty good spot mm -hmm. to end here at season eleven. Very exciting things to come. Uh, a lot of hype around it for now. We just have to hope that everyone on all cylinders follows through, including, but not limited to, the devs themselves with the, the promises and the hype that they've been building, with the content creators like us to help help them drum up the hype and be positive about whatever comes, which might be tough depending on what comes out for a lot of people. And, um, and yeah, viewers continuing to invest in different communities and everyone in between, so... Um, any other final thoughts on season 11? We have no idea when it will happen. We might have another two or three episodes of this out before, before the season even comes out. But, um, any this last video thoughts? gets uploaded and they release the trailer for season 11. I that's, will cry. That's crazy. 
It could happen. What if the I season will... 11 trailer gets dropped before this video comes up? What do we do with this episode? Oh, what happens? We, we throw it in the trash what and happens? do it again in a few just years. Be in shambles. Yeah. We'll do it again oh, in a few man. years. It's been nice yeah. talking to you. Yeah. So last, last uh, thoughts, season 11. Shout them out. Uh, I, I, I have high hopes. If it's been that long, they've had to have cooked something. Mm. And I'm just hoping that it's good. You're just hoping that they're cooking with like oil and not acid. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping that they're cooking with oil and not squidding. All right, uh, Weezy, what do you got? Uh, I uh, I'm very optimistic on this update uh, as well, uh, as well as popcorn. Um, yeah, I think season eleven will be great. Uh, in which I'm hoping our suggestions will actually benefit uh, the gaming community in some way, but in her shape or form. Mm. But Overall, I'm I'm confident about confident about this, but if I see like one I need a little thing that's gonna like probably be a detrimental thing for the game, then I'm gonna be like, oh I, I don't know why this is in here, but that oh, we're gonna we're gonna say all positive we're gonna say all nice things right now, but that is a but, very yeah. real possibility and that also terrifies me. But, uh, I was being a little realistic. I apologize. Yeah, I know, but, I know. Yeah. Optimistic. Cautiously optimistic, baby. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. Exactly. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. If you made it this far to the first episode of Sarcast with Wheezy Jack and Popcorn the Beaver, make sure to check them out. Uh, Popcorn says that he doesn't use any socials, period, but you can find them at twitch.tv slash Popcorn the Beaver where they stream Sar as well as a few other variety games, right? Yes. And then Wheezy, Wheezy's also yep. in several places, way more active on things like Twitter, Twitter at Wheezy Jacket, as well as Twitch, where you will also see Wheezy playing SAR as well as some other variety games. Um, other that than that, true. other than that, I was Birds with Goads, your host, and uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys want to say bye? Bye, -bye. bye everybody. I'll Bye. see you later. Season 11 soon. Prage, hoping. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Better happen. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm gonna cry. See ya.